Welcome back to Pathologic 2. It's been almost a week since I've played, I was doing a little bit of traveling, so I feel a little bit off as far as my grasp on the game goes, but things should be fine. I do know what to do now, though. It's almost 1pm on day 8. Um, my stats are pretty good. Don't really have to worry about exhaustion or hunger, thirst, not an issue. I have tons of water on me. I have 25 bottles of water? Damn. Basically max health. Yeah, set-wise, I'm good to keep going for, I think, the rest of the day. Mm, we have treated Yulia, but I still need to treat Capella and young Vlad. Was there someone else? I think that's it. Capella and young Vlad. Yeah. And the town is calling me up here, which is where one of the caches are, so I want to go there. There's really no better time to go there than right now. It's going to take a bit of time, but oh well. I feel pretty comfortable with how much time I have at the moment. And then after that, I'll probably come down and do my duties for the day at the hospital. Just stopped at the clothes store right next to Lara's place. I definitely need thimbles and red thread. I think I don't have any of those. I don't have any red thread. I don't think I... Uh, I have a couple thimbles, but I still need them anyway. I gotta repair my clothes. None of them are about to break, but... Leather gloves are below half. This is at half. This is a little bit below half. They need to be fixed. Oh, we got a stabby boy over here. Wait for him to walk away. Boop. Look, they instantly come back trying to get the loot. Yeah, you little shit. I see what you're doing. Kill stealer. I have so many lockpicks on me. This one's good for killing people. It'll insta-kill them. This one's good for actually picking locks. These are good for trading, basically. I don't need more lockpicks. Then again, this one is in the instant death range. It's almost completely gone. I'll keep that. It'll be good to take with me in certain areas. Ooh, what is going on here? Ah, oh, that one's getting away. Hey, don't worry. You're fine. Got a Bernie boy here. Decided I'm actually going to do the hospital before going up here, because, I mean, to get here, I have to go here, and at this point, I'm just right outside the front door of this place. So let's just do it. I don't remember what today's duty is. Is this the one where we have to stay in here for an hour, plus a little bit more, because they're late? By the way, is Ruben going to be here? Remember, Ruben's still alive. The rabble believes Simon was reborn as that strange girl. What madman. Only yesterday they despised her. It all failed. The isolation ward in the cathedral, the hospital in the theater. Even the cemetery is an issue now. At least you tried. The town is dying. And now this inquisitor. The powers that be know everything. They won't be lenient anymore. <laughs> yeah, what can they do? Send the army? <laughs> oh, not funny. Anyway, we've seen this conversation before. Yeah, I think this is the wait here for an hour, and I guess Ruben is not here. Yeah, just gotta wait here for an hour until you're relieved. Alright. This'll be fun. I mean, this is going to be so much easier than it was before. I was so... I was in such a bad place in terms of resources and health and everything last time I tried this. Now, this should be pretty easy. What the hell? Did, what? What was that? Why was there a bird in here? Was that a bug or is that supposed to happen? The world truly is filled with all sorts of miracles. 
There we go. Got through the hour plus. We're good. How are we looking on the sand pest fund? Oh, it's maxed out. Did I treat people in the streets earlier today, last time I played? I don't remember. I probably must have, right? I wouldn't get maxed out just for me doing my duties here. Since this place is a very good way to get organs without ruining your reputation or anything like that, I'm going to try to get brains. I think I'll go with just brains because they're the best tier thing. And also they'll stack as long as they're all infected or not infected. Yeah, let's do it. It's a healthy brain. Yeah. That one's infected. Okay, I'm gonna have to make room for that. There we go. Made room. Dropped a scrap name, broken scissors. Just a single one of those isn't worth that much. Are there any more? That might be it out here. Came to relieve you of your duty. Thanks. Bye. Okay, now to the cash. Torn note. Whoa. What's happening? She told me to report daily, so I will. Strange. Such a beautiful line, even if misplaced. Beautiful line? That's capital line, by the way. Capital L in line. So, the line. Not like literally a line of dialogue or something. A beautiful line? Mm, this is Capella calling me. Oh, wow, that is a great time for Capella to call me because they call me right here. That is just a total coincidence. I'm really lucky that I just happen to be right here. Uh, let's make room. I don't want to store stuff randomly or temporarily in the chest, just in case that messes with things, since it counts what you put in the chest. If you do that once again, I'll cut you all fingers off. All right, glad I came. <laughs> let's leave a walnut. Let's go see Capella. A vagrant has bestowed her crude grace upon the Saburos. So this is where Capella basically says I'm taking the kids from you. They're under my protection. You came because you sensed me thinking of you. Inadvertently, I touched you with my thoughts. And it isn't the first time. Indeed, it isn't. Scattered thoughts and anxieties pop into my head, because we're connected, you and I. I'm sorry you have to hear them sometimes. That's my mother awakening inside me. I can't help it, because I see you. What else do you see? Tell me now, please, instead of barging into my head. I see that you and I have different paths. You are about to do something terrible and destroy all the children. You were seeing it wrong. I had a dream yesterday. All our children lay on the ground and a white flower grew from each of their heads. You'd water them when they were sad and sometimes picked leaves from them for your potions. And then a cart ran over them all and its wheels ground them to dust. They'll soon die and turn to soil? Yes, they need help. Mine, not yours. That's not what you said about Grace. With her, you specifically asked for my help. Yes, 
but that was different. That was about her alone. Now I'm speaking of all our children, the whole Taglore. I sense you won't be able to protect them. I will. I'll guard them with my life. Isidore Burrah was a father to more than just you. Do you realize this? Of course. I used... No, that's not right. Um... You mean he was like a father to this whole town? You walk Isidore's path, and you're very good at it. You have extraordinary hands, light like wings. I will always be by your side, will always help you with anything. Except for one thing, you're not our father. I feel like this conversation might be a bit different than it was last time. I'm, I'm not sure. It's been a little while, I don't remember specifically. But I remember things got sour really fast and basically said, you're no friend of ours, Capella, if you're going to steal the children from me. So forcefully, so distrustfully, thinking that I can't take care of them. But so far, this hasn't gone that way yet. Maybe it will at the end, I'm not sure. You're not our father. Father's will was that I take care of you. That's enough for me. Children are warm creatures. They smell of milk. They listen eagerly to your every word. And you tried. I can see that. But your care keeps us stuck in the past. In childhood. They need someone to lead them into the future. So you're suggesting I abandon you all to the whims of fate. I'm taking them from you. The ones you took care of. I'll do it now. And I'll do it better. Okay, now this is going the same direction. But I feel like it diverged from what we did last playthrough a little bit there. Leaving them stuck as adolescents. That is... That is what the polyhedron is all about. You don't grow up there, quite literally. There's no worries there, but they're always perpetually children. If I am going to end up leaving the polyhedron so that Mother Bodo may survive, which is probably what I'm going to do unless there's some other alternative end that gets unlocked by me doing different things. If that's what I end up doing and it leaves the polyhedron alive, then She's right, what she's saying, that I'm going to leave them as children. But nonetheless, for now, you're one of the children in my care. Go home. You can't look after them as I do. They'll die if they remain your wards, because you're still so far from understanding. You can't sense the town as I do. I'm taking them from you. You're in danger, too. A responsible girl. You'll be the first to die. No. Even if I die, I'll still linger. In them. In you all. Even in you yourself. I've seen that, too. What do you mean you'll linger in me? Like, intruding on my thoughts even if you die? Perhaps. Hope we never get a chance to find out. Still, we're too different, you and I. I will always be your ally, but we aren't friends. I'm sorry. I've had enough of this nonsense. Everyone who entrusted their lives to me remains under my protection, including you. Victoria Olgamskaya's daughter is our new mistress. Why do children have to take after their parents? Let's go report to Aglaya. Got a bad boy here. Gonna give him a good whomping. Whomp. Ooh, good stuff. Uh, I just don't have room for any of it. 
especially the, uh, oh, I did have room for the bracelet, right, because I already have one, so I just stacked. What's the state of that lockpick? Almost broken. Meh. Grindstone would be nice. I don't know if I want to drop anything to make room for it, though. Eh, I'll leave it all. The bracelet's the most important thing. That's a good amount of money. Oh, another bad boy. Hold on. I shouldn't use Menhu's finger anymore. It's pretty broken. Should I use one of my lockpicks? Or my lancet? Let's use my lancet. Okay, you got a little punching. Got a bad boy here, except they're kind of just looking at each other. Oh, shit. Uh... And you're about to loot the body? Yeah, it took him a good second. Whew. Hmm. There's a clothes store right here. I'm just gonna go there. And sell some stuff, and then maybe I'll have more room. Ooh, water. Good water. Gonna buy all six matches and three safety pins from here. I'm gonna sell them my two bracelets and my ring. Isn't this where I go to report to Aglaia, but they're not even here? Oh. I think that's new. Bad Grief is here. I remember them being there. Are you nearly done with my great achievement? Fuck off. I don't need you today, Doctor. I've made some progress. Report. Hmm. Can tell them about Oyun. He might know something. Or just say, I think I should look into the abattoir. Let's go with that. I think I should look into the abattoir. Do you know what you'd be looking for, or is it just a shot in the dark? I'm relying on Oyun. He promised to find out. We have no time for hope and luck, Bura. No time at all. Then tell me what to do. No, Doctor. Are you a courier, an aide, an assistant, a secretary? Or else did you assume I'd point you to one location with all the answers and all you'd have to do is stroll over there? I didn't say that. Those who can only follow crosses on a map have already received my orders. They're of no interest to me, and they won't solve our problem. I'm relying on those who can think for themselves. Don't disappoint me. The cross is the abattoir, but I don't know how to get inside. There's little time left, and so much left to do. No. What do you mean, no? Just in case the answer is no. You had a request, did you not? Yes, it's about the old Gimskis? What's my request gonna be? I plan to have a long conversation with all three old Gimskis. Hmm. I can tell by your look, not all of them remain. What happened? Big Vlad went to the termitary to protect his son. I'm sorry, but I will not interfere. That is not what my purpose is. What is it, then? Do you really think I'm about to explain it to you in detail? Please don't dispel my impression that you're a smart man. That's your impression? No one's ever called me that. You've never spoken to an Inquisitor before. What makes you say that? It's obvious. Well, you guessed right. That went nowhere. <laughs> Wages war on all poor. Just nailed barley down. Here we go, all around. Oh, is this one grief? Bad grief gives me the quest to go uh, close up shop at their old place. Yeah. What are you doing here? 
thinking. Something's off about you. We had a talk. I thought it'd be an interrogation, but no, we just talked for two hours. What'd you talk about? We're all toys, cub. Just toys. Puppets. You go about living and breathing all that on the thoughts spared for your place in it all. But actually, you're pulled around by great strings. You think you're alive, but you ain't, pal. You ain't. We have no right to call ourselves people. If you want to think of yourself as a puppet, go ahead. That's not how I perceive myself. I don't want to live like that anymore. Perhaps I don't want to live at all. So, I'm thinking it over. She broke you to pieces. She knows what she's saying. She's a professional. She really is. I haven't figured it all out. Not yet. But I've seen the light, Cub. I don't want to live like this. You mean like a storekeeper? Oh yeah, they're going to send us to the warehouse. By the way, if you could, could you drop by my warehouse? Just check on the guys. Tell them to lock the place up and scatter. Tell them I said so. Tell them a long beak pex millet. They'll listen. <laughs> no, they won't. They'll listen to you anyway. They know you. Where would they go? Hunting in the night? That's up to them. I'm not their leader anymore. Tell them that. I don't like your tone. I can't do anything. I'm from here. We've run all out of old grief. Okay, pay them a visit. I'll do it for an old friend. Wait, I can talk to you again? But I couldn't just a second ago. What are we going to talk so about? The have failed in their task. Oh, about bad grief. Uh, yes. What have you done to him? Me? I didn't do anything. Does he bother you? No. Did you interrogate him? I have a unique approach to each person. Can't you see the man is thinking? Changing? Leave him be. What was he babbling about puppets? Did you tell him about that? No. He figured that out on his own. Is that true? It's true for him. I don't know about you. Why is that? You are unlike anyone I've ever seen. Freer than other men. As though your strings are pulled by some manner of God. Hmm. As though your strings are pulled by some manner of God. Freer than other men. I wonder if that's... <clears throat> some sort of almost fourth wall breaking thing. Freer than other men because... I'm a player. This character is being played by a player rather than the others that are NPCs. Thanks, I guess. There's a body out here. I think we saw this body in this letter at some point in the other playthrough, but I think kind of late. Here, I hope you don't mind if I store this brain on you temporarily. <laughs> Who can tally the number of drops in the sea? Who can tally the number of tears in this grief? I'm so happy it wasn't you, Father. Veronica Croy. Yeah, we read that before. Feels a little ironic that we just talked to bad grief and then this short letter outside contains the word grief. Who can tally the number of tears in this grief? Hmm. I think last time I left it somewhere, because, I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? I remember the kids said I never left them any notes in the caches. What if I leave this in a cache? Damn depressing thing to leave, but... Hmm. Smells like a marsh for some reason. I just wonder if this means something. Does this mean anything in particular? I mean, aside from just the stuff it says. Is there some some meaning to it even existing? Am I supposed to act on this information? Am 
want to keep it. You know, I'm just going to leave that brain there. It's a healthy brain, not an infected brain, so it's not the most important thing. Actually, wait a minute. These are made from a kidney. Actually, I don't have any painkillers here made from good things, do I? Oh, this one's made from heart, but I've only got the one. Hmm. But I have another heart here. It's it's fine. I just noticed that the way up to the polyhedron doesn't seem like it's being guarded. Or, I mean, there's like people there, but it's not actually physically blocked. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go talk to these people. Also, one of the dog heads seems to be T-posing. The one on the right? You see that? <laughs> what is happening over there? Not only is that person T-posing, but... Oh, you can even see it when the game is paused. There's, like, some random NPC here. I think it's one of the guard types. And they're just spinning in a circle in place. Just rotating. What in the hell? Uh... Still T-posing? <laughs> this is so strange. Okay, well, I can't talk to any of them. I don't think there's any point in going up there. It was an extremely long walk. And I'm... I'm almost certain there's not going to be anything up there, but... But, I'm going to go save, and I'm going to try it. I feel like it's kind of cheap to go up here and then reload my save game to undo all the time that I maybe wasted going up here. But this is my second playthrough. I'm kind of experimenting and trying things, so I think it's fine. And now that I don't have to worry about the time spent up here, since I am just going to reload, Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy the walk. Let's take in the view. Let's not freak out and run as humanly fast as possible, like I did last time. The, the texture of it's very strange. I remember when I came here in the other playthrough. There were rare herbs around here, but right now there's nothing. And have room for the empty bottle. Oh well. Designs all over everything. Designs all over the design. interesting about this building is that on the map it looks like it's stabbing the ground. And remember in the last playthrough when we went into the Elongo and went under the earth. Or into the earth. And we saw the... what was it called exactly? The big... Big chamber? Something? The big heart? And we saw that drill coming down and almost touching it. Almost pierced. That must be the polyhedron, but the polyhedron isn't literally touching the ground, so I think it's more of a figurative thing. I mean, even the tip that was almost touching the heart didn't actually look like this tip. It looked like a, a drill bit. But I don't... I, I think that was the polyhedron, just more of a allusion to it rather than a, literally the end of the polyhedron sticking into the ground. I mean, I guess it could have been young Vlad's drilling operation. I don't think so, though. Oh, look at all these birds over here. No, come back. So pretty up here. Wait a minute. Look at the sky. 
There's something going on with the sky. There's lines in it. You see them? They're kind of faint. Are they becoming more visible as I go up? I think so. What are those? Definitely becoming more visible. I'm excited to get to the very tippy top so I can see the whole thing and see if I can identify what these shapes are. They sort of vaguely look like neurons, maybe? Certainly look biological. Hmm, there's a sharp bit on the top of the polyhedron, not just the bottom. As if it's piercing the sky and the ground at the same time. That's what triggers the world is very beautiful indeed. You have to get up to this point and it must be from these things in the sky. Yeah, somebody left a comment saying, look up. And I never did and I never saw these. It's very easy to miss them if if you just i mean i was focused on running as humanly fast as possible because time was of the essence and i was doing very poorly <laughs> at the time so if you just have your head down like this it's easy to miss it Last time there was nobody up here, just an empty tent. Yeah, I don't know what those shapes are exactly. Once again, nothing but an empty tent. This is fascinating. But now it's time to reload. Just took a boat from over here, over to my base here, gonna drop off some things and eat food and whatnot, and then I have some things to do with barley. And then the old Gimskis, which are pretty close by. And somebody told me about a cache that was somewhere in the warehouses about here. So, after just getting off the boat, I just located it, and yeah, it's just right next to where the boat gets off from. Right here. Hazelnuts, I'll leave you one. Don't have anything brewing, so let's get this heart going. And the infected brain. Clears up lots of space. Oh, I'm super hungry. Hmm. No, not that. Let's eat the fresh meat. That should do most of my hunger bar. Nice. Do I have a drink waiting for me in here? Ah, no. I really need to repair my weapons. Slash surgical tools. Very little difference between those things. 
Men whose finger is most important, because that's something very special to who I am as a person. It's something I can't just go and buy. How many grindstones left? Oh, zero. Hmm, right, and I have some stuff to repair my equipment. What needs repair the most? Gloves and my mask. Hmm, I could repair my cloak. I have two red thread, so actually I think I can max it out. Oh, doesn't use red thread for the last tier, but can still max it out. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's deal with Barley the Barber. So I know from experience, talking with them is completely pointless. I might as well just kill them outright. That's actually better because it gives me the, the drop on them. I have two instant death sticks, two lockpicks that are basically broken. So there's three people here. There's one back here, right? I thought there was three. Oh yeah, there's the third one. Anyway, poke. Fuckers. Damn, I feel powerful. Good amount of money. Good lockpick. Um, let's... <laughs> I love how the physics keep going even when the game is paused. Look at them just gyrate against each other. <laughs> now that's a man pile. Let's just go ahead and drink the Twyrine. Oh, that's another place I've already been to. So there must be something new there. I'm going to go pretty close to there, so I might as well visit it, actually. Alright, I should report back about what I did with Barley. I feel like I should report back today, because I remember... I thought, like, one of these quests got kind of bugged. And did turning this quest in give me a shotgun, or was that totally unrelated? I, and it's something that happened later, I don't remember. But a shotgun would be very nice. Oh, this is the children children that have tracked down the not actually murder of my father and I know that that stays there for a while so no rush what we got in here something that's stacked I think these raisins might be new raisin kid will love them ooh lots of money shotgun shells Fully repaired knife. Only good for taking lives. Don't think I need that. With the blades that I have. Men whose finger is very sharp. Let's go to the old Gimskis. Need to go give an immunity booster to Capello, but before that, I want to know why the town is calling me to Big Vlad's place? Keep in mind, Big Vlad is dead? Who's here? Young Vlad? I don't think this happened in my other playthrough. Young Vlad, yeah. <laughs> they say that true men are either obeyed or hated. Thanks to father, some follow our family while others dream of ripping out our throats, in his words. What is dignity, Master Bura? Self-hatred. What are we going to do now? What we do best. Work. I will try to achieve what I wanted. Revive and reform the Bull Enterprise. Now that there's nothing more to lose, and nothing is on the line, I can be more daring. Yeah, never saw this before. It probably happened before. I don't see why I wouldn't. It's just probably that I didn't know it was here. Never drank Y Ryan on this day or something like that. Everything is always on the lines. Don't you forget that. Thankfully, I can give him prophylaxis even though they aren't at home. 
seems very inconsistent with whether you can do that or not. Ooh, hold on. I get to experiment with something. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? I want to test what the difference in immunity boosting is between an immunity booster, a normal tincture, and a plus tincture. There we go. Just did some tests. Took screenshots of using an immunity booster, using a tincture, and using a tincture plus, and then looked at exactly where they were on each line, and then drew it out on how young Vlad looked before giving them any sort of a treatment. So as you can see here, young Vlad started out right there, and then a normal immunity booster, not surprisingly, what I thought and what I hoped is the worst one, did not do that much. Normal Tincture did a little bit more than just a normal immunity booster. And a Tincture Plus does significantly more than either of the other two. So Tincture Plus definitely better than anything else. Let's give one to Capella. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to protect them from infection. I feel like their immunity is getting lower each day. It's starting immunity anyway. So this is the cache that's been marked again by the town. What is here for me? Loud note. Tough to read it, better to put it back after. A brave knight looking for a squire for a dangerous quest, paying in green marbles. See you at dawn by the big tree. Hmm. I think that's gonna get marked, isn't it? Brave Knight looking for a squire for a dangerous quest? I'll be your squire. Wait a minute. I didn't hear anything get marked. Well, it's at dawn, so I guess it would be next dawn? Obviously right now it's not dawn. I don't know if it's gonna get marked though. And if it's not, then what's the big tree? I'm trying to think of any huge-ass trees. I can't think of any offhand. Let's leave a walnut. Got a bad boy here. I think they need a wampin. Which one's which? <laughs> oh, you got a knife? That one's being chased. Whew. Took a little bit of damage there, but it turned out all right. I hear is that white whip behind me? No, Ashen Wisp. Seven coin in total. Wow. Got a fight over here. Good stuff. Hmm, another cache I've been to before. Well, I am actually headed over here to the murderer. I figure I'll go here to the murderer, and then I guess now I'll also go down here to check out this cache, and then I'll take this boat all the way over here and tell bad grief about what I did. Got a fire thrower over here. Man, there's a lot of people burning. I don't even know what's going on. Come over here. Damn. They really do fight surprisingly well. <laughs> they have a beetle on them. <laughs> That's... 
weird. About to meet the murderer. He's gonna try to murder me on sight. Bit of money in the suspicious newt. Found your thief. He'll come to Friday's yard. Wait for him there. Just hit him first. He's a nutso. 450. Made my way over to this other cache where the town is calling me. Why are you calling me here? There's nothing here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this suspicious note here, I guess. No one can say I never left a note, right? And let's leave a safety pin. I actually have a lot of these. It's just, just about to be the next day. So let's see how lucky we get with the rolls. Come on, hopefully no new infected. Tomorrow everything changes, so it may be unwise to put off important business. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Generous reward awaits you if you don't claim before tomorrow, etc, etc. Overall death toll, almost 10,000 people. Come on, you look good. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you're good. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, shit. Okay, one new infection. That's not bad. Although I have no way to cure them. I have no schmouter or panacea. But I have good antibiotics. You had 12 days. Not so many, but enough. One more day has passed. The town shifts. Something stirs in the theater. Something stirs within you. Got some really good stuff that I just brewed. Yeah, painkiller made from heart tissue, that stuff's fantastic. And my exhaustion is super high, maybe I should sleep for, I don't know, maybe an hour? I've actually got a couple infected hearts stored away, I didn't realize that. Let's get some more antibiotics going. Yeah. Well, I have things to do tonight, but my exhaustion is extremely high, so I just need to sleep. Let's take a painkiller made from heart tissue. Let's do two hours. Oh, thank God I didn't dream. So I don't have to worry about the painkiller not taking effect. Yeah, that's plenty to work with. Basically half it, exhaustion. All right, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go speak with the kids about father's quote unquote murderer. Visit the theater, visit the dead item shop, probably pick up my reward. Also drink some Twirine, so there's a cache to check out here. And probably should go tell Grief that their old business is over. Given that it warned me I should finish my business before the big thing happens today, which I believe is the arrival of the army.